If you've ever worked in manufacturing, you know how easy it is to get caught between two big issues, not enough product or way too much product. That constant balancing act, well, that is what tack time is for. Hey there, my name is Christopher Sandoval. I'm a developer relations advocate here at Flowfeeds. And today we're going to talk about tack time or talk time, look at how you calculate it and see why it's useful for most industrial applications. Okay, are you ready? Let's jump in. what tack time really is. So tact or tucked actually comes from the German word for rhythm. And that's basically what it is. It's literally the rhythm of your factory floor. It's the pace that your production line must maintain in order to keep up with your end customer demand. The formula is beautifully simple. Tack time is available production time divided by customer demand. So if you have 480 minutes of shift time and 120 orders to fill, then your tack time would be four minutes per product. Too slow, you'll miss deliveries. Too fast, you're wasting material and increasing stock unnecessarily. Why it matters. So here's why tack time is so important. First of all, it gives you production balance. Every station knows the North Star that it's working towards, and they can calibrate depending on how it's matching with that actual production expectation. This also means that you're baking in waste elimination into your processes. Machines that are producing fast can be reeled in. Machines that are producing too slow can be looked at, fixed, and given increased production. And this all leads to smarter resource planning. You can staff and schedule based on actual demand and on what you've observed in your factory itself. And finally, this introduces significant cost controls. You're able to control how much inventory you have to store, but you're also able to control what your machines are actually doing, which ones are the most efficient and which ones are the most inefficient. Using something like FlowFuse to calculate your tack time, you can get a huge boost in observability and a great understanding of what your system is actually doing, as opposed to just trying to do some guesswork. How to build a tack time flow. So here's how you actually build a tack time flow. Step one, connect your data sources. Flowfuse's huge library of protocol and database nodes lets you pull live production data from your MES or your ERP systems. Next, you want to define the available production time. You can use something like a simple change node to set your formula. Next, you automate the tack time formula. And the good news is that since this is built in a node, it's recalculated every few seconds. Finally, you can visualize it. You can install the FlowFuse dashboard and you can drop in a text or template widget to display your tack time value in real time. Hit deploy and your dashboard updates continuously as orders change. And that's how you go from data to insight in just a few minutes. Tack time and FlowFuse. This is what makes FlowFuse so powerful. You can connect to everything on your shop floor, all of your sensors, all of your machines, and actively calculate this tack time while also getting contextual data about all of your machines and sensors. And that gives you supreme observability and extreme control over the entire system. You can connect, you can calculate, and you can visualize literally any aspect of your floor. And you're not just tracking your tack time, you're actually using it. You're turning it into a live performance indicator that helps you be more efficient, more effective, and more productive. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And if this sounds like something you want to build into your own system, you should head over to flowfuse.com and get your free 14-day trial. This has been Christopher Sandoval. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.